9-11, I was doing mornings at a station called 93.1 DRQ, and Lisa Lisa was doing afternoons there. That's right. But that morning, I remember, I was up to teach an aerobic class. It was a beautiful September day, and I saw it on TV. Mm. We were on the radio at the time. We stayed on the air until 6 o'clock at night. You never even did your radio show that no, day. No, I didn't. No music. Mm -hmm. Yep, taking calls. I remember uh, when the Pentagon got hit. My brother at the time was working at the Pentagon. Not that day, but we didn't know that, so it took forever to get a hold of him and find out where he was and with all the phone lines being down. Uh, and then we started getting phone calls from uh, um, airline workers, you know, you remember from Metro right. Airport. Yeah, pilots mm -hmm. and air traffic controllers. That were calling in saying we're off today and uh, we had, we knew this person and we knew this flight. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was an emotional day. It was such an active telephone day where people were calling the radio station saying, oh, my, my sister's a flight attendant, I live in Detroit, but she lives in Boston. And yeah. On September 11th, 2001, I was living in Hoboken, New Jersey, and I got the call from a friend of mine. Um, he said, you got to look out the window, because I was that close. And I looked out the window, and I saw the first tower on fire. Um, the radio station I was working for, in Z100 in New York, uh, little did I know what kind of day I was going to have. I went to the radio station, I got there, and it was evacuation only. Only uh, people were allowed to leave. Um, the following days was spent on the air nonstop helping people out. But I'll never forget September 11th, 2001 and how it changed so many lives. I, I was actually in a college at the time working for a local radio station as well. Uh, living in a house, about seven people I think were there that night. And I uh, just got home from the overnight about six in the morning like normal. Went to bed and woke up to my roommates just like pretty much screaming and I couldn't believe it. I woke up and they were just constantly replaying the first plane going into the building and then next thing you know, here came the second plane. Um, I will remember all the victims uh, because I knew one of them. Uh, it, was, uh, it was part of not my family, but it was my part of my extended family. My, uh, my sister-in-law's cousin was, was part of one of the people that died. I would definitely remember the victims. 11th, I know what I'll do. I'll remember the people who gave their lives to help others. Okay, I will donate blood. What will you do this September 11th? What will you do this September 11th? To get involved, go to 911day.org.